Anyway, working on the principle that everybody loves it when I get caught out, here's a trio of calls in which I completely failed to fool anybody. Let's start with Peter Benison, who, following a cartilage operation, borrowed some crutches from the hospital. He returned them when he could walk again, but he just left them in the hospital corridor without telling anybody that he'd brought them back. Good morning. Could I speak to Mr Peter? Is it Bennion? Mr. Bellison speaking. Bellison, sorry. Speaking. Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Percy Wilmsler. I'm facilities officer at Devonshire Royal Hospital in Buxton. I believe you uh, you were with us between the 27th of August and uh, the 30th last year. Yeah. Um, it's a small matter. We've been checking through some of our staff. Uh, you were under Mr. Lawton, weren't you? That's right. Yes. Yet. Um, we we still have you done for a pair of crutches. Uh, no. Mr. Uh, Bellison. No, they were brought back. Sorry. They were br they were brought back to you. Um, uh, well, within, certainly within a month of my uh, leaving you. Really? Um, I've still got the form here. Were they long crutches? Were they arm supports? Or they were they arm support crutches, uh, metal, the metal ones. The silver Some ones? Type of crutches, yeah. yeah. You but can't remember to whom you, you handed them in? They were, they were handed into the, um, the, the, the reception area. Um, Yes. Downstairs. We, we came back one one Saturday. Yes. Uh, during you know during the visiting time. I mean the, the point the, with, the, uh, with the form. Yes. The point is I mean I wouldn't want to suggest one moment that you're you're dishonest, but we are having an amnesty at the moment. We're asking people to return yes. things like bedpans and sticking plasters and wheelchairs and things, mm. um, and ambulances, finger stools, <laughs> crutches. Yes. Um, so I mean if. If, in fact, you hadn't, and you're a bit embarrassed by the call, um, I mean, there's going to be no repercussions if no, you... No, no, embarrassed by the call at all, because I, I certainly haven't got them. They, they were definitely brought back within a month of, uh, of me, you know, dispensing with them from, yes. from this end. See, they're still down under your name. This is a problem. Uh, well, and I, I can only assume that it's something at that end, because was, they were sent back uh, with, with the form as well. Yes. They were left whether, whether you know... I, I think they were actually left at reception, because at that time, I think it was... Um, you see, really, uh, Mr Benison, we're, we're, we're having to get very strict about these things because of local authority cutbacks and things and uh, uh, almost threaten I had to threaten a man this morning that if he didn't um, bring his crutches back he could be on them again <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, uh, I mean you can, you can send somebody around you can, you can search high and low you can yes. do what you want they were, they were definitely brought back because uh, we have I, I, this amnesty you see so nobody would charge you a year's rental if you no, if you no, wanted to bring them back nothing to do with that no oh, all right then well uh, sorry to have troubled you uh, um, I've just cottoned on now <laughs> it's no Edmund, isn't it? <laughs> hey? Is it? Yes, it is. Yes, oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to kill my wife. <laughs> I've said this no, number of times, I'd do it I'd do it to her. She just grabbed me out of bed. That, that's, why I'm, that's why I'm half asleep. <laughs> Good morning, Peter. Hello. <laughs> it, it doesn't happen to other people, does it? <laughs> Don't you mean it doesn't happen to you? It always happens it to other people. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, it was obviously Liz that put me up to it. It was, yeah, yeah, so, so early in the series as well. <laughs> and are you all right after the cartilage job? Uh, yes, yes, Good. yes. I was till this morning. <laughs> well, he got me towards the end.